Hello YouTube. A friend of mine on Facebook hooked me up with a few uh, Manto Estate uh, box cars. So stick around for a quick intro and we'll get this box cracked open and take a look and see what we have inside. Hang on and I'll be right back. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, sticking through that quick um, intro, and as always, I'd like to welcome you to uh, another video uh, here at Vintage Road and Rail. Um, okay, so as you can see, I've got a Model Power uh, Union Pacific F2 Loco sitting on top. Um, the reason he's here is once we get these cars unboxed and take a look at them, we're going to stick them on the track, and this is what's going to pull them around for a couple of laps. Um, just so we can see them all there in action. All right, so I went ahead and uh, opened the box up. Let's see what we got here. It looks like it's packed really well. And there it is. And you can see those uh, orange and yellow uh, Mantua boxes underneath this bubble wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and scoot the box off to the side. That way I don't have to kind of reach funkily around the camera to pull everything out. All right, so we got the box out of the way. So we're going to get this first little bit of bubble wrap out of here. Drop it off to the side. I always hang on to that stuff. All right. So here is our first uh, car. So let's go ahead and get it out of its, out of its box. It's missing the cardboard insert, which I knew. Um, when I got these uh, cars from him. So that's of no surprise. I'm very grateful though that he wrapped them up in some uh, bubble wrap. That way they made it good and safe. All right. So here is the Mississippi car, Magnolia State. And this is uh, the one that actually prompted me to go ahead and get this um, lot of cars from him. Not that I needed a big excuse anyway, because I would like to eventually get all 50 of these cars. I've got four of them already. I just need to figure out where I stored them away at. Okay, but anyway, um, here's the Mississippi car, the Magnolia State. A really nice looking car. Got the little brake wheel. Everything looks really good on the bottom. Horn hook couplers. All right, so let's set that off to the side here. And the box is specific to that car. All right, let's set that. You know what, I'm going to keep that bubble wrap separate from the other. That way I can wrap it back up. Okay, so here's one that was that didn't have a box. And again, I did know this. And it's Nebraska, the Corn Husker State. Looks to be in really good shape. Missing the brake wheel, but no big deal. I think I've got a couple dozen of those laying around. But otherwise, really good looking car. Alright. And we've got another one that's just uh, loose in some bubble wrap. There should be six of these. So this will be the third one. All right, so we got the Dairy State, Wisconsin. Again, looks really good. This one does have its brake wheel. Looking really good on the other side. Wheels are all there. Couplers look great. All right, so let's set that off to the side there. Kind of keep moving this bubble wrap out of the way. All right. So I've got another one that's uh, just loose, wrapped in bubble wrap. All right. So this is Illinois, the land of Lincoln. Looks really good. Both sides are looking great does have its brake wheel. Everything looks great on this car as it has on the previous three. All right. 
right, so let's set that off to the side. Okay, so I'll open this one last. All right, so this one is going to be South Carolina. It also doesn't have its uh, cardboard insert. But again, I knew that at the outset of when I got them. Uh, in fact, just to be clear, there are no surprises in here. It's exactly as was described. All right. The Palmetto State, South Carolina. Looks to be in really good shape. Both sides looking pretty good. Well, looks like a little bit of the S is coming off there, but these cars are 30, 40 years old, so what do you expect? Looking really good, though. Really nice car. And I didn't point it out earlier, but all of these state cars, you can see the image of the state there, and it has their capital. I'm trying to hunt down Ohio, but from what I understand, good luck with that. And Missouri is going to be another one that's going to be kind of tough to find. All right, so let's get open the last one. And this one is going to be Minnesota. And this one does have its uh, cardboard insert. So give me just a moment to get it out and carefully remove it from the cardboard insert. Uh, both Tyco and Mantua use very similar cardboard inserts. So you kind of got to pull on them just to a bit and kind of clear those wheels there you go all right all right so here's minnesota land of a thousand lakes it's capital st paul we got our brake wheel there looking really good on the other side looking pretty good on the top the only thing I've noticed on them is a couple of little cleaning spots on any of these cars but uh, from what I understand he's had them for a little bit so that's to be understood. All right, but yeah, that is all six of the Mantua State cars that um, I got in the mail uh, yesterday. It's looking really good. Actually, I think they came in, um, no, they did come in yesterday. That's right. Um, okay, so let me just get this box out of the way. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do is, in a moment, I'm gonna stop the camera and I'll get all these cars positioned on the track but first let's just go ahead and unbox this locomotive this is a model power and it's an F2 loco this is eight wheel drive and eight wheel pickup it's just a DC loco but the reason I grabbed this one is because it is eight wheel drive and eight wheel pickup so it should run really well but it has the horn hook couplers um, whereas some of my other locomotives that would be eight wheel drive eight wheel pickup have knuckle couplers all right so there she is very beautiful looking engine I love Union Pacific I forget what I paid for this. I think, yeah, it was on the front there. Seven bucks. And runs really good. All right, so let's set that down. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video for just a moment. And when I come back, I will have all of these lined up on the track. And we'll watch them do a couple of laps around the track. And hopefully, they won't derail on me on these two switches I've got over here. They seem to like to derail cars sometimes. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, so I've got her all hooked up here. So we've got our Union Pacific locomotive in the lead, followed by Illinois, Minnesota, Mississippi, Nebraska, South Carolina, Wisconsin. And I'm sorry, but a train just doesn't look right without a caboose. So I grabbed a Tyco Union Pacific caboose uh, to match that locomotive and stuck it on the end there. All right, so I've got my power all hooked up. So we'll um, turn it on here in a minute. I've got it off because uh, it's a DCC controller and 
with a DC locomotive it'll just sit there and hum alright so we're going to take it nice and slow because when we hit these switches sometimes the cars want to derail I don't know if it's because they're a little too light or if these are used switches and I probably should have honed it up for new ones who knows so let's um, go ahead and give it some power and you'll see that locomotive fire right up there we go lights on good and bright because it's got all 16 volts at one whack so let's get her going here we're just going to start off nice and slow let's get a nice little slow go by here give it a little bit more speed all right and there are our Mantua state cars looking really nice I love these cars all right so it seems to be making it through the switches just fine All right, we're through the switches, so let's give it just a little more speed. This is a train after all, not slot cars, so we only need to go but about so fast. I think let's stick with that speed. Let's let it do a few laps on around the track here. So as I may have said earlier in the video, I do have four other of uh, these Manto Estate cars. I, I'm not sure where I packed them, so I can couldn't get them out to see what the uh, state names were and I remember having two of these as a kid uh, these state cars I had Tennessee and Kansas strange that I still remember that and to be honest with you I thought I still had them but when I looked over in storage I tore through every box I had and I couldn't find them so I bought those things when I was a kid, so that's easy, 28 to 32 years ago, depending on when I got them, so it's of no real surprise that I can't find them. All right, let's uh, move over, if I don't trip over something, and get this from a different angle. kind of my hobby room so it's always a bit of a mess every time I clean it up it doesn't take no time then it's a mess again so I just give up and if you hear what sounds like a herd of cattle coming in it's my children just getting out of school Let's get one more good lap of it. Let's get right down here at the track level. All right, so that wraps up this video. So this is a look at the six uh, Mantua state cars that I got in yesterday. They're gonna be a very nice addition to my collection. Uh, this will give me 10 total, so I'm one-fifth of the way there of all the states. So hopefully I can come across the other 40 sometime soon and not have to pay an exorbitant price for them. All right, well, thank you very much for joining me on this uh, video. If you enjoyed it, uh, please hit that like button, subscribe. If you've got some of these cars yourself, uh, mention it down there in the comments. I'd like to hear what you've got and uh, post a link if you have a few of them uh, you know, on YouTube running yourself. Alright, well thanks again for joining me. Have a great day. Happy Model Railroading.